my, uh, my issues with disease, and I hate to do it. I'm like a lot of you that TL manhandled and wrangled to get up here. Because um, most of us don't want to talk about the most vulnerable parts of our lives. I, for the most part, I think the Lord, um, you know, the Bible talks about the thorn. And, and all of us have a thorn. If we walk with the Lord, if we surrender to the Lord, and we truly pray that prayer, Lord, send me, we're going to have a thorn. Because we're going to see signs and wonders, and we're going to walk with God and talk with God. And we may think we're the humblest human beings on the earth, but God knows better. So I've known most of my life that my health was my thorn. And the Lord and I have had several conversations about it. Um, when I was in my early 30s, I lost my career over my health to a mysterious, I just call it sickness that they never could diagnose. But I was a very high power executive that couldn't get out of bed for 18 months. And my one word description that everybody always said about me, and probably still does at times, if they describe Bobby, they use the word driven. She's driven. So the last thing I ever want to talk about is being sick. Because whatever there is is being sick, I can just overcome it with my mind. Mind over matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get well. I'm going to, if, it, if I'm sick, I can get over it. But over the last five to ten years, um, and not being able to gain weight, I would always have people come up to me and ask me, or whisper, or wonder what was wrong with me. You know, and we've done lots of television and videos, and, and have a. I said, "Wow, well, Lord, you put me, who's actually a very introverted person, by the way. I'd rather be sitting behind a table, behind a computer." And He puts me on a stage, and at times not looking the healthiest. And to be quite honest, most of the time, not feeling the greatest. But not knowing why. And that's probably the most frustrating part of our healthcare system. Is when you go to doctors and they look at you like you're crazy. So I finally get to the place and the point of just stopping and going to the doctors. Because unlike Jim, I didn't know what was wrong. I just knew something wasn't right. And I had all kinds of symptoms. I had shingles when I was 36. I had two years of canker sores that never left my mouth. I would wake up and be in such horrible pain that ambulance would come to the house and I'd have to go to the ER. They'd send me back home. I'd have moments where all of a sudden I'd have to pull over the car because I would be overcome with needing to vomit. Nausea that I couldn't go to bed for days. Um, you name it. No answers. None. Am I going to die? Because if I'm not going to die, this is just a horrible way to live. But at the end of the day, all I wanted to do was just serve the Lord. And so, Lord, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to take any medication. And, and once I depressed, I didn't want to deal with depression. It's like just move on. God is bigger than all of this. Let's just move on. That was always my mentality. Until about 2016. We've been on tour for the last two years. This year, I knew that something was going to be different. We had our conference in January. March, we had an event. We co-hosted with ABC and Google. I had big plans. And... In April, I crashed. Why? Well, one of the reasons, real quickly, is that for years, every time I went to the doctor, I had high blood pressure. Every time I went to the dentist, every place I went, my blood pressure was high. They never treated me. Why? Because I shouldn't have high blood pressure. I'm underweight. I don't smoke. I don't have any of the signs. So you're just nervous being here. So I went years of untreated high blood pressure. So in April, something drastically went wrong. I'm not sure what, but I couldn't remember my name, address, short-term memory problems. Finally end up at a neurologist. Oh, by the way, after I go to a psychiatrist, because I am really about ready to kill myself. 
and I see the world crashing in around me and I have no idea what's going on. The tests come back and show after an MRI that I've got too many white spots on my brain. My brain looks like the brain of a 70 year old. Though it didn't sound too good to me. My left side of my body was weak. They suspected and it was confirmed that I had some kind of a stroke. While I'm in a doctor's care, by the way, we haven't charted that I was in the doctor's from January, February, March, April. So, Tilly Lee being an ICU nurse, former ICU nurse, and psychiatrist being a former pediatrician, uh, very high level doctor, said something's wrong and we're going to get to the bottom of it. So, long story short, after three other physicians and a specialist called an endocrinologist, as of about two weeks ago, I was diagnosed officially with two different autoimmune diseases. My body uh, basically has been trying to kill itself for the last 10 years. And one of the, the places it's attacked is thyroid. The body doesn't regenerate itself without thyroid hormone. And without thyroid hormone, there's a lot of bad things that happen. Sammy is with me all the time. He goes with me to the doctor's office and sits on the examining table. He is an emotional support dog, and he's Tony Lee's dog. I took him. <laughs> <laughs> he's my buddy. He hangs out with me. He makes me feel better. But the truth is, it's one of the loneliest ways. Uh, it's one of the loneliest places to be. It's when you're sick. And the sickness is a sickness that you can't put your finger on because you just feel bad all the time. And there's no energy, there's no motivation, there's no ambition. And people who know me, this is certainly not the Bobby that they know. <laughs> this would have been even a different type of event, even, if I were well. But I've been sick, and I hate to even admit it. It's very humbling to admit. The other disease affects the adrenal glands, Addison's disease. Now, we don't even have all the tests back. The rheumatologist has ordered a whole other band of tests because they know there's something wrong in my bones, with my hips, and my back, and there's going undiagnosed for years creates problems. I'm on thyroid medication at such a low dose because the doctor's afraid that my body will actually attack the medication because it's a foreign substance. I'm on so much medication, I have to almost just keep it written down on the timer. Take it, cortisone, cortisol, uh, straight up hydrocortisone. I'm on tablets every day now. Iron supplements, I have pernicious anemia. Deficiencies across the board. It's amazing I can even stand up here today. Oh, and by the way, menopause hit. <laughs> yeah, women laugh, that's not funny. <laughs> God has a sense of humor. But I'll tell you what, God is the victor. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday of this week, I sat in my doctor's office, some blood tests, actually a urine test came back with protein in it. And my, my primary care physician, who looked at the test results on Tuesday, said we may have a problem because that's a sign of multiple myeloma. Mm -hmm. That's a blood cancer. Let's just double check and run some blood tests and make sure you don't have blood cancer. I said, let's do that. <laughs> so I stopped by the laboratory to give more blood. I've given quite a bit of it lately. And on Wednesday, I got a report back that said, I do not have it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the report that she ran was rather comprehensive and already shows just on my vitamin and mineral side that I'm already improving in many, many ways. So on Thursday, Tony Lee had booked a trip for us to go to Seattle, a place that I would, had never, would never go to. A woman owns a company called Bibles Off. They're a Bible program. It's competitors of Logos. If you've heard of Logos or Bible Faith, they changed their name, Faith Life now. A woman president owned it. They looked us up, long story short, Tony Lee books the meeting that I would not go to, because I'm really not able to travel. And um, by the end of the meeting, as of yesterday, 
the woman looks at me, of all people, and says, you're going to figure out how we're going to put this women's Bible study program together to reach women all over the world for Christ. A program that they can use. I want Bible studies. I want, I want content. And I want you to do it. Put it together. I mean, what God can do in our sickness, in our weakness, I would say, no way. God says, I didn't ask you. <laughs> so, disease is not about just being sick. It's not about a diagnosis. It's not about our medications. It's not about all. Depression goes with illness. It's not even about our energy. I'm a producer. Anybody in here like that? You want to produce every day? You want to know that you checked off your list? You've got, you know, and then there's days you don't feel like getting out of bed and you feel guilty. And one of the biggest things I've dealt with over the years is guilt. Guilt. That's my fault that I'm sick because I'm so driven. The endocrinologist, when I first went into him, he rolls his stool up to me, he looks me square in the eyes, and he says, Bobby, I've got news for you. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. He's a Christian. It was the best thing I probably could have heard. That's not my fault. You know what? It's not your fault. You haven't sinned. I think of John, I think it's chapter 5. The son was born blind. Who sinned? Him or the parents? And Jesus said neither. It's for the glory of God. For the glory of God. So we're going to be sick and we're going to be weak and we're ultimately going to die. But while we are here, every breath that we take, every song we sing, every, every air that we breathe, all for His glory. And He will do amazing things through us in our weakness. Not in our strength. So I'm doing great. I'm under great care. I've gained weight. I've got good things happening. And I look forward to seeing what God's going to do with us in 2017 and beyond. But that's just my short little story that I know Tony wanted me to share. I haven't even shared this publicly to our Bible study group. Well, that, it, it's because of that that we got off radio. Yes. So, Bobby uh, produced all of our radio shows on KPRZ, and when she got sick, we had to stop. We so, shut down every yeah. issue. And it was just kind of like, God, what are you doing? You know, Lord, where are you? We have been together through all this stuff, and and to think, Bobby, that I was jealous of you for being thinner than me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a, a gal who came up to me in Bonita Valley when we were teaching just after the conference in Jan last January, and she said, did you lose like 20 pounds in six weeks? And I said, no, it's because Bobby's not next to me. I'm 20 pounds more than her. <laughs> so, but we are thankful she's yeah. getting better, and everything she has can be treated. It just takes time. And if you're in a situation, because I talk to a lot of women who don't know what's wrong, it's very frustrating. Don't give up. Don't give up. Find an answer. Don't let them look at you like you're crazy. There's an answer that God will lead you to. And it's, it's all in His plan anyway. But also don't keep quiet about it. Let people know when you don't feel well and ask for help. I've had to learn to ask for help. And praise God, that's what he's put us here to do, is help each other. Good job. Thank you.